uh, my question is uh, man is, is typically a social animal we, we seek to to actually coexist with the society right and to to do that i'm a vegan and uh, you know a, 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 many people around me are not and it's a difficulty for me you know very most of when i want to speak out my thoughts uh, most of and i want to let's say go into animal activism but then this fear of you know if i if i speak out this i'm anyway kind of seen as an outcast and if i speak out i may be you know more farther away from being accepted by my friends or the family so this fear kind of stops me in in doing what i want to really do express myself uh how do you think that i can you know be devoid of this fear and be kind of free of this let me understand what you're saying you're saying you love animal activism but you cannot openly speak of it because of peer pressure is that what you're saying uh, uh kind of sir so I, i i mean i'm trying to say that uh, i mean I, i i would like to express my thoughts i would want to do animal activism or any other other things mm-hmm. but then uh, out of not only peer pressure out of the fear that you know if i speak out i i'll be judged even more because i'm not doing the other activities that my peers are doing uh out of that fear i'm really not doing so uh, like going forward so that fear kind of stops me from see this is the typical nature of the <clears throat> ego mind it wants to change things with the things remaining within its old unchanged structure paradigm i will explain don't worry so you have a structure and what is that structure you are there and you are surrounded by your peers your your friends your family hmm your social media network that's what surrounds you right now you want to bring about a change what's change you want to bring about in the middle of this structure there is you you who is not an animal activist currently right you want to change the center you say i'm not an animal activist but i think it's the right thing to do so i'll be an animal activist i'll change i'll change the center even as you want to change the center you want to keep the entire structure intact and unchanged you want to say my friends will continue to be the same my peers will remain the same the ones i speak to and share thoughts with will remain the same all that will remain the same with all that remaining the same <coughs> i will change now how is that going to happen you really want to change or are you conspiring against change because i want uh, i want to change yes sir if you want to change then why do you want to keep the structure intact how many people do you know of maybe 20 maybe 200 maybe 2000 that is the upper limit why must you speak of uh, cruelty towards animals <clears throat> and other things that are valuable to only these 20 or 2000 people the world has 800 crore people but you want to retain this little group this little gathering this 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 coterie of 20 or 200 why do you want to retain them because you are identified with them but the thing is if your surroundings and your meta structure remains the same then you too will remain the same that structure will not allow you to change it's these very people who are so aversive to listening to anything worthwhile 
that they have struck fear in your mind. Your cause is worthy. You are standing for something worth it. But see how afraid you are. You are saying, I cannot open up in front of them. Think of the quality of these people that you cannot open up on worthy topics in front of them. And if you that, your, yeah, of course, they will mock you, they will jeer and sneer at you. But if that's the quality, my question to you is, why do you want to retain them? Why exactly do you want to talk of these important things to only this small group of people? The, the world is your playground. I'm not saying that you break up with them or you just kick them away, nothing so dramatic. But right things must be done at the right places. Hmm? Do you, uh, are you a student? Yes, sir. I am uh, pursuing my MBA uh, in IIT Bombay in first year. So you are pursuing uh, <coughs> MBA. Do you, do you start uh, talking of normal and poison distribution hmm? with your family? With your aunts and uncles? No. Do you talk of these things to them? So, everything has a right place. If you don't do it or take it up at its right place, then you don't want to do justice to that thing. Right? Would you, would you sit with your mother and discuss Kotler? You won't do that, right? And then come complaining, my mother doesn't appreciate Kotler. That's, that's not the place where these things ought to be taken up. Hmm? So don't be so particular about moving only within your pre-existing circle. <clears throat> if your cause is worth it, Show some courage and move out. Hmm? If, you, if you have a tender and precious sapling in your palm, would you plant it in a desert? No. You will search for the right place to plant it. So search for the right place where people are receptive to your thoughts, ideas and actions. Start there. Thanks, thanks a lot. Great. Uh, I want to know, as we, we have discuss, been discussing about mind and thoughts, so uh, yeah. the diet uh, which we follow, either vegetarian, non-vegetarian or even veganism, uh, does it have any connection? Uh, I mean, does in any way it impacts our mind or I have turned vegan after coming in contact with you but I want to know this how does it impact us the the connection is the other way around your mind decides your diet so when you look at your diet you come to know of your mind a lot of people talk of the impact of the diet on the mind I don't think that's a very useful way of looking at it. When you look at your diet, it's not your diet you are looking at, it's your mind you are looking at. A diet is a choice, right? The chooser is the mind. Just like all your choices, what you eat reflects who you are. Hmm? So use your diet to know yourself. <clears throat> 